Now guys, I'll show you what's been going on here at the diesel stop. I've been getting my garage picked up and organized a little bit because i got to build that Cummins that's sitting over there. i got everything back from the uh, machine shop. And I've been building a little trailer. I'm going to add on this uh, tongue about a foot, but the bed is uh, six foot by four foot three. I just wanted a little trailer heavy enough for uh, hauling these uh, Cummins and stuff around. Something low enough to where I don't have to put it up in the bed of a truck. So I'm going to come back in here and add about a foot on this hitch of this trailer. And is what I'm going to do, I'm going to come in here with a piece of pipe and then come straight out. Of course, cut me a hole through the front of it here. And anyway, the hitch will come out to about right here. And then I'll put a, uh, a bulldog hitch on it. Anyhow, this is the uh, Cummins. It's a 97 second gen 12 valve Cummins that I uh, got back from the machine shop. Here in the next couple of days, I'm going to be building this thing. And I haven't looked in the box yet to see what's in the box of goodies for it. But uh, I've got the head in the uh, camshaft over here. And this is a uh, reground camshaft. I sent this camshaft off to the machine shop and they reground it and sent it back and everything like that. We're going to run some Lucas break-in additive to it. So this head is uh, completely rebuilt too as well. And I'm kind of curious to know what's in that box of goodies. So... You might as well take a look, at not we? Hopefully the uh, tappets are on, uh, in this box too. I had the uh, tappets reground too. So let's see what's inside this box. I'm uh, pretty excited about building this motor. This motor is not mine. It is a friend. It's a friend's motor, but I am building it for him. And there's my uh, reground tappets right here. And uh, like I said, they uh, reground the face of the tappets. So that's them. This must be the uh, oil pump. Let's see. Yep, oil pump. This is the. Uh, Cummins oil pump if I can figure out how to get in the box. Er, should have probably unboxed it here already, but okay, give me a second. So I got the oil pump out of the box finally here, and this is the oil pump. Gear driven oil pump. And then uh tappets, two belt uh two bags of tappets. So little sensor that I uh, didn't pull out of the block or the head or one or the other. And then um, this is the uh, head gasket set and I think I've said in one of my other videos, I'm pretty sure I have, that I don't like the uh, Felpro head gaskets. I'm not going to use the uh, Felpro head gasket out of the set. This is a head set so the only gasket that I'll exchange is the uh, actual head gasket. I'll go on ahead and run a uh, official Cummins head gasket. And then this is the rest of the gaskets here. So, got a complete gasket set for the motor. Now I've got to go get the uh, other parts and stuff and uh, get them cleaned up to build this motor. But the uh, pistons and the crankshaft and all that are already in the block. And then, um, like I said, I've been building a little trailer, so that's what's been going on with the diesel stop, guys. So, uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe, stay tuned, and you'll get a chance to uh, see this Cummins built. So, thanks for watching. Bye. Now, I got the uh, Cummins sitting on the stand that I made here, and I got my little helper running around here somewhere. Oh, the supervisor. I take that back, the supervisor. So anyhow, I'm uh, going to get started on this here in the next day or two. Unfortunately, i got to go bale some hay. So, looks pretty nice. That stand that I made, like I said, it worked out real well. These are, uh, these are head bolts out of a uh, 6.2 diesel. So, if anything fails on the stand, it's going to be these head bolts from that Chevrolet. Let me show you... Uh, there it is right there. Let me show you this. This is the uh, piston that came out of this motor. 
and as you can see it got pretty well hammered there's pieces of uh, melted rings in the top there's uh, chunks of melted piston in the top of it so it kind of gives you an idea of what it was before and what it is now so had quite a bit quite a bit of scoring on it and the cylinders were scored up and they were able to just uh, do a standard bore on this thing so I think you told me it's bored 20 over so a standard bore on it and that's what it's looking like so uh, like I said here in the next couple of days you guys stay tuned and uh, we'll go from there thanks for watching